Despite his blindness and other disabilities, like any other entrepreneur, Darren works hard to make a go of his custom popcorn business. But it's not just money that drives him to succeed. I don't really care that much about the pay. It's uh, just the uh, rec recognition that I like. The popcorn business is like our child. I've always just wanted for Darren to have something that was his. And he's really proud when he talks about it. He says, I have a small popcorn business. It's a real pride issue. There was a time when four or five different kids, and one of them was nudging his friend like, he can't see, you know. And this old, this old kid was just totally, totally amazed at what I was doing. And he would walk up, see me doing it, and he'd come closer and closer, and he'd tell me, you can see, can't you? No, I do not see. When Darren first started Popcorn, his first job coach had real reservations about him putting his hands inside that machine because of the hot kettle and everything. There we go, now get down there. And I said to Darren, I said, there's no reason why you can't do this to yourself. And so we made adaptations. We were worried about the hot pot and everything, so we got the gloves and he puts the glove on and he can reach in there and if he touches against the pot by accident, it doesn't burn. Okay, all done. There have been burns. Everybody has the right to risk something. Everybody deserves to have the dignity of risk. Last month, we just finished a very big job. The, the new Sanford Hospital this lady, she had found our website and she wanted 1,000 servings of popcorn. Lori and I were up 10 hours doing that and that was quite a job. Sam has his iPad too, which he uses. He gets to pick what he'd like to say, and then I help him. He can add pictures or symbols, and then it's just click a done button and it's right there. You said something about going to Dairy Queen. Hmm. What if they said if you got an ice cream cone and it cost one dollar, what would you pay with? <gasps> the dollar bill? <gasps> yeah, good job. I work with Sam in the school setting as like a paraeducator, but also at home, direct support professional. So throughout a day, any daily needs, wants, we hang out, go through his daily schedule together. Can you go to your home page? Okay, where do we share our news, our messages? Message. Sam lives in a group home, but he has his own room here. It is his own house. Long-term, committed relationships are as possible for people with disabilities as they are for anyone else. Nora and Darwin met at work almost 40 years ago, and they've been together ever since. And her and I hit it off good, so we... We're still together. We're still together, yeah. So far. <laughs> with family help, they were able to achieve one of Nora's dreams, owning their own home. Well, we've been renting, and I, I don't know. I don't like to rent. No, I'd don't. rather have my own place. Our own house, it's so much better having our own house. But like scrubbing the floors, doing dishes, making beds, I like doing things like that. I like to do things for myself. Since he's broke his hip, the doctor thought he never could walk, but I proved to him that he was going to walk. Mm -hmm. As he's real good and faithful to take me out for exercise. 
Her little doctor, I call her. And then the time came for Darwin to become the caregiver. Well, I guess the way it happened, I went to get something and Darwin said, you don't feel good, do you? And I said, nothing's going to happen. Down I went. It was a major heart attack, but despite doctors' expectations, she and Darwin are still at home. I'm going to help out my sweetheart somehow. We do what we can. <laughs>